What's going on folks? This is a 22 pound catfish I caught a couple weekends ago. If you notice his stomach's hanging out there. I've never had this happen all the years I've been fishing. But uh, I've, I've read and seen videos on it so I kind of know what to do. Basically, see how bloated he is? He's full of air. You can see right here from the beginning, you know, bubbles coming up. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to put this fish back in the water. Um, if I just put this fish in the water now, he might would swim off, but he's not going to make it far. He's going to go down a little ways and just belly up, and he's not going to make it. It's just like you um, imagine how you feel when you get bloated. Imagine your stomach being really, really bloated, how you don't feel like doing anything at all. You just feel like sitting there and being miserable. But basically, that's what's going on with this fish. He's just got a bunch of air in his stomach. Now, basically, this comes from uh, pulling him out of deep water real quick. Which I'm fishing a channel, you know, I don't think it's that deep right there. Maybe at the max 20-something feet. But, uh, you know, I didn't really haul him in either. He did run with it a little ways before I got the camera on and got him in. But, you know, stuff happens. So, basically, I got him by the tail real, real good. Put him in this water and I'm going to move him, you know, in a swimming kind of motion. And I'm also going to go back and forth with him. Just to get those waters, the, the water going through his gills. And you can see every so often just bubbles coming up. And that's all you're doing. You're getting these bubbles out of his stomach. He's going to let you know when he wants to swim off. I mean, this fish could easily swim out, out of my hand if he wanted to. I turn him over here and you can see half of it's already in. I've been at this for maybe two minutes. See how, see how he's getting more life to him? He's getting more of a swimming motion because I'm letting him do a lot of the motion too. I'm doing it, but I'm also letting him, you know, getting a feel for him to see, you know, how much, how strong he is and he's getting a little stronger. And then look at there, all the way back in. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do this for a few more minutes. You're going to see a big bubble start coming up here now. Keep on at it. He's getting stronger and stronger. See the big old bubbles? He's about ready to go. He's going to give one big kick here. I'm going to give him a pet goodbye. And I'm going to let him go. I want to get bigger and for another person to catch her. CPR is very important. Um, we, we used to have to drive two and a half hours to Santee to get trophy fish. And now they're here in our backyard. We've got to preserve these fish. Got another video coming up. I caught a nice little brute out of Lake Wiley. We'll get the videos here soon. Thanks for watching, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.